You're so what? Scared. Why? I loaded up the game and like it loaded me exactly at the moment the power went out a minute ago. So I it was like one of those big dudes swinging his bat at me right when I loaded in. I was like, oh my god. Did you die? Are you okay? No, I got him. Okay, so then you should still be where I think you are, which is very good, right? Because I'm going to have to guide you, okay? So, like, are you still in that space, or did you advance at all? I, like, literally just beat that dude, and then, like, I was in mid-fight with him when you invited me to the party. But he's dead now. I'm, like, okay, right next so to a ladder by a bridge-looking thing. Well, now, uh, wait a second, wait a second, I'm sorry. So you, you only fought one big dude? Yeah. All right, and then you're probably standing near, like, a chest and, like, a ladder that goes down with a torch on it or something? Uh, the way that I was facing, there's... It's almost like a uh, wooden bridge, but it's, like, a wall on the right and empty on the left. Um, okay. Right behind me so is then a ladder. If, you, if the wall is to your right, but on the left is, like, out in the open and empty, you're, yeah. you're facing the correct direction. The wall should be on your right until it closes up. Now, listen, there's going to be two more big fat guys... But you mm -hmm. don't have to fight them. You just need to run past and then listen to this description so that you don't fuck this up. When you okay. see the opening from the cave that you've now entered, don't sprint or roll out of it because it dead drops to a, like, canyon. Just mm -hmm. slow down and turn right on the way out the door, and you'll see where you have to get across the chasm. Okay. Very easy to do, honestly. Yeah, these guys are pretty slow. All right, we're going to do an obstacle course, dudes. and then we're going to do, like, a shit-tier boss, and then some interesting stuff. I'm running. i got to make my drink. I'm going to work out after our play session, so I should drink that now. You off tomorrow? No. Holy moly. Look at you being all... I am in the habit of rejuvenating my body after work. I get up at 4.30 to start my day, because... You get close to 30, I'm sure you know, like, the body's like, hey, we're doing this pooping thing all the time now, okay? Um, I wake up at, like, 4.30 to start my business and do my shower, but work isn't till 6. So, like, I wake up at 4.30, I start getting ready, I shower up, I smoke a bowl to, like, ease my nerves, because I'm always anxious in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I go to work. And I get off at 2... So it's, like, kind of rough, but, like, I've gotten in the habit of either napping or laying and resting myself after work. So, like, I got home, I smoked a little bit of my weed, like, a very small amount because I'm trying to save it, and then I just laid in my bed for, like, an hour and a half. I didn't fall asleep this time, but it's, like, the exact thing I need to be okay for this type of shit. Nice. So I made it outside of the uh, cave, and I got, like, a way to go left across a small bridge, and then... Yeah, you're going to go across the small bridge, and then you'll look left, and there's another door that you're going to see. Yeah. And uh, you're going to go through that door. And it should take you into like a castle underground area. Like walk through until you see like a huge open space. Going down the stairs. Uh, new Londo ruins. Yep, that's correct. There's a dude on my left sitting down. They're all weak as shit. They're not going to fight you either, so you don't even need to engage. You need to go around and left like a horseshoe back into, like, a doorway. Can you kind of see where that's possible as you go down? Yeah. Well, as Now, I when you get up to the door, do don't go through it because there's an elevator there, but it's not there. It's up, and you need to pull the lever to bring the elevator down. You'll fall to your death if you go in. So, like, yeah, like I said, when you get uh, – well, there it is. When you get to that doorway, like, look for the lever and pull it to bring the elevator down, okay? Okay, so... One scoop. Two scoops of that crack cocaine. Sorry, you're gonna get DMCA'd or some weird shit or whatever the fuck is called demonetized on YouTube now. Because I said crazy stuff. Uh, it's not like I'm making money. I know, I'm teasing it was a silly <laughs> joke. Um, did you get the elevator? Are you going back up? Uh, I go up the stairs, right? Yeah, like, keep okay. going up after the elevator. Take your time. It's easy to fall off if you're not careful. You're back at Firelink, the very beginning. I go through here. Okay, I found the elevator. Pulling the lever. 
Okay, sorry, I must have, like, not explained it well enough. I suck. It makes sense in my head perfectly clear, but for someone who doesn't know the game and hasn't played it, like, it's easy to be like, well, what is he talking about? Horseshoe around? What? Well, like, the door was, like, immediately to the left in vision, but then you were talking about, like, going all the way around, so I was like, oh, maybe it's further down. Maybe he's talking about a different door. But, uh, in my memory, it's one. like you have to freaking literally like go around a path to get to it because it's not literally you walk to it. But maybe I'm wrong. Well, the fact that you memorize the passes detail is pretty impressive on a game that you haven't played a lot. No, I. This is a genuine brag. I'm not like gonna pretend I'm not bragging about myself. Like, I have the Souls games memorized enough that I can guide multiple people through at a time, like at the same time, like. I was playing with Armada and Zach McPherson, uh, the Aizawa on here. Or mm -hmm. no, Ape Glizzy, now that he's changed his gamer tag. And uh, I was guiding them at two separate locations to two different destinations at the same time accurately, which was really cool. I was like, damn, I got these shits. It's my game. You ever have like a... Uh... Like one of those random p other people that are playing, like walk right behind you, but like across your screen, it just scares the crap. <laughs> yeah, that's happened to me a couple times. So, did you take the elevator up? Are you back at Firelink? Yeah, I went up. I went a set, up a set of stairs. On the left, I found an item that had like a bunch of armor and stuff. Did you see the golden armor guy on the way up? Uh, did not. Are you back at Firelink or no? Yes. Can you go and retrace your steps back down? Do you know exactly where you came from? Yeah, I'm going back now. Watch off on the edge as you get past the first flight of stairs. Like, to the right. Should be. Okay. Back at the elevator, going back through the door, up the stairs. You, yeah, you don't have to... You, you don't have to, um... He's in Firelink. He's not... He's not... He's not in the place that you came from, from the elevator. He's between, like, the bonfire and the elevator on its path. He should be sitting in Firelink Shrine. Uh, I found like a guy that's looking like he's in chainmail. No helmet or anything. No, it's not him. Do you know where the uh, Firekeeper is? Uh, not positive. Okay. Starting from the bonfire, walk down towards that elevator, but stop after the first flight of stairs and look at the wall. There should be a cage in there, and there should be a woman in there. Can you interact with her? Yeah, I'm at the bonfire. Um, you said walk down the set of stairs I came from? Yeah, that goes to the elevator to the New Londo Ruins. And then it takes me to, like, the first set of stairs takes me to, like, this little open area. Yeah, right. and then on the wall of the open area, there should be a cage with a woman inside. I found a cage that says examine, and it says yep. dead. Ah, uh, you were too late. Latrek beat you to it. Your bonfire's out, isn't it? You can't even rest at Firelink Shrine anymore, because he killed your firekeeper. Oh, no. It's okay. We're going to get revenge and fix it. It just means you can't rest, so however many S's flasks are going to be the amount you have to get to your next at one. So pathway-wise, you need to go back to the bonfire. Mm -hmm. And then from the bonfire, do you remember the path that goes to the up elevator that leads to the church that we fought the gargoyles at? Do you remember how there's an elevator in that church that we can go up and down? Um, whoa, what is that thing? That's a big dude. That's scary. I ain't going that way. Uh, so... Go up the little stairs right after the bonfire, and then are you saying, like, go on the right? Yeah, it's, like, on the right, it's, like, two more flights of stairs, but it leads up to the elevator. The one that leads up to the the, the church. I'll run back and guide step-by-step step with perfect description if you need. I think so. It's, like, the original way that we took before, right? No. 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 Okay. It's it's up into the ruins. Like, you'll walk past the, the monks that are sitting there. Yeah, I see like a monk dude sitting right here. You're gonna walk up to the right of the monk guys, and then there's an elevator up that path, and you take the elevator up into the church. So when I go this way, there is a giant thing there. I don't know what that thing is, but it's really scary looking. Oh, like I know what you're talking about, head. but you, you went. Th you're, you're still going the wrong way. That's not correct. 
Okay. You didn't go to where the monks are if you're seeing him. That's, uh, that's uh, King Seeker Frampt. He's a primordial serpent who uh, wants to help you give your soul to the fucking first flame. He's actually a good guy. But that's not the right way. There's only two you directions need... I can go in. No, there's more. I'm coming all the way back to guide you step by step. It's okay. I'm going down the elevator that I need you to get to. Is it like the guys with shields with all the pots? Yeah, it's that way, okay. and then up to the right of them. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I probably sound it. like a jerk, but I don't mean to take that tone. I'm, I'm just trying to be like, yes, that's correct. That's what I meant. Yeah, I got you. Do, do, do. And then you'll see the elevator. You can take those up. Okay, elevator. Going up now. From the elevator, you can run in a straight line out the church and straight down the path because it's going to lead you to Andre the Blacksmith. Remember him? Yeah. I remember oh, yeah, this yeah. area. Yep, yep. Oh, Archer, excuse me. They don't chase me all the way down here, right? Mm -mm, mm -mm, nope. Cool. And screw you guys. I'm going home. Daddy Andre. <laughs> so... How many humanities do you have on you in your inventory? Um, I don't have any regulars, but I have three of the twins. Okay, don't use any of them. I'm going to go see a merchant about buying some. Because I'm going to give you more, because this is going to be risky as fuck for you, and I'm not really at risk for much. I should be okay. Should but I, I rest at the bonfire? Getting shitted on. Uh, yeah, you should rest at the bonfire. I'm just trying to think of my fastest path for my character to take to do what I'm trying to do. Oh, attuned magic. That's new. Power within. Alright, yep, I know exactly the path I have to take. Be my honey. <laughs> Tell you what, trying to make cocktails is a uh, expensive hobby. Oh Would yeah, not for recommend. Sure. Well, yeah, all the liquors are like pricey as shit per bottle. Yeah, it's like every time I go to a liquor store, I spend a hundred dollars. I just killed a dumb shit because he jump attacked me, but my hitbox pushed him off the ledge in the process. So he like just <laughs> missed and basically glided on my body off. That's really funny. I instantly thought of like one of those moments in like one of those typical cliche anime where like a girl throws themselves at like the attractive guy and he just palm faces them and is just like, no. Like he leapt and I was like, get away. All right, and then up here to the shortcut, up the ladder. On a list of things I find important, this is up there. Hey, Mr. Andre, can you, like, make my sword not so bad? Wait, there's an option to give him a large ember? Should I do that? Yes. And that lets you upgrade it past plus five, I'm pretty sure. You can get to plus ten if you have the right gear for that. Modify equipment. No weapons for ascension. Cool. Um, reinforce weapon. I have to wait till the next blacksmith we meet to upgrade my weapon past where I am, but it will be super worth it when I do exactly that. I think I uh, max upgraded my sword because it just disappeared. So. No, it, it, yes and no. So after that, in order to take it higher, like you need to go to modify equipment, and then you need to like take it to plus six. It's like a special process, but you can only do it uh, if he has like the right embers and the right stuff, which you should be able to, to be honest. 
It says I need a large titanite shard. Yeah, you will get those in time. Okay, repair. You yeah, fix that for me. I just really can't fuck around with you, like, running out of est or, uh, humanities, because that'll fucking ruin everything. You're not able to sell stuff, right? You can just, like, drop it. No, you can sell stuff. You sell it to King Seeker Framp, the one that's actually in, like, Firelink. Oh. Damn, she only had one, but it's okay. Any is better than none, and then I'll take the shortcut back, which is opening that, and that's faster. Okay, so this entire next area is called Sense Fortress, and Sense Fortress is like a fucking like nightmare house of like wacky bullshit and horror, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of like, <clears throat> sorry, it's gonna be a lot of bullshit. A lot of traps, a lot of things designed to kill the shit out of you, and a lot of things that are going to really frustrate you as a result. So, like, the only thing I can say is, like, to the best of your ability, follow every instruction I give you to a T. And if you take an L on something and you die, don't let... I know, I know you're, like, a patient guy, but, like, don't let it start to frustrate you, and then, like, talk to me if you need any information about what's going on, because, like... Even as I tell you what to do, there's still a good chance, like, you get some aspect of it wrong, and you, like, fucking, like, die. You'll see. This is, like, one of the moments where they really test the limits of this game's, like, hitboxes and, like, attack behaviors. And, uh, it's very easy to be like, I should be good, I wasn't good, I'm dead now. What the fuck? Like, it's one of those, like, you have to be so particular about it. Like, I know the way through, and it's gonna be anxiety-inducing, but, like... All things considered, we should be okay. Okay. So, like, from the bonfire, I don't think it's the bonfire room exactly. It is the bonfire room. Can you see the open door with, like, the big, like, brown, orangish building out there? Yeah. Head that way and stop short of going inside. I'm at, like, halfway up the stairs. Okay. So, go up the stairs, but don't step into the gate. I'm going to explain two things. One, I have to put my summon sign inside. It can't be on the outside. And two, there's immediately two traps. One is right in front of you on the floor. Can you see the tiles that are lifted? Uh, yeah. If you look straight from that to the stairs, there's actually a tiny little gap. Arrows get spit out of that gap. Don't hit the floor tile, so that's step one. Step two is... Hidden, if you look, there's, like, pillars leading to the door in the back. There's two in front of you making the doorway, and then two, and then two, and then two, right? Yeah. So, there's the doorway, the first set after that, and then the set after that. So, like, the third one back is the one I'm describing. There are snake warriors behind each one of those to the right and left. So, like, you're meant to get arrowed, and they're supposed to jump you. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, and directly to the left, I'm going to put my sign down immediately. You're human, and you, like, are not hollow, right? Like, you don't need to do any of that? Yeah. All right. You're going to go in, avoid that plate, and then if they attack you, do your best. If you have to lure them out, do them one at a time, whatever. But if you can grab me, I can help you kill them really fast. So, I'm going to go in right now. Okay. My sign's down already. They're attacking me, so I'm fine. I have nothing to worry about. Just do your best. It's right to the left when you go inside. I'm in, but they haven't noticed, so I'm just waiting for your thing to show up. Yep. All right, I see it. No. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, hello. You'll be okay. Just try to get me. Oh, they stepped on the thing. That's fine. Yep, they can do that. I'm being summoned. I'm coming. So if you can stay up, I can devastate these motherfuckers. I re-upped and got a new weapon finally, so I do way more damage. 
one of the Black Knights finally decided I was allowed to have a weapon. Just run the circle, run the room if you have to. Doop, 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 doop. Leave my friend alone! Hiya. yeah. <laughs> All right. Now take. This and this. Oh, and you know what? Actually, as we're here and I'm thinking about it, you should also take this off of me. So I don't need that either. Oh, nice. I keep forgetting to use those. All right, we're going this way. Like I said, Sun's Fortress is a nightmare, so be prepared for bullshit. Okay, uh, there's an enemy at the end that's going to attack, so if you want, I can go first, get down there, and kill him so he's not fucking you up. There's a gap in between each blade, and if you angle your camera down, you can see better as to where you are positioning-wise. I'm gonna piece this guy up one by one because I'm not trying to get fucked. Alright, he's down. I'm just gonna run past that left. No, I'm not. That's a death trap. I will not get fucked there. Alright. At your own pace, work your way across. Okay, good stuff. Let me handle this part. Bing bong. Fucking asshole. There's a trap at the doorway when you get through. Good moves, you're through. Okay, okay. Uh, this is okay, you can open this chest, it's not a trap. Just walk around the outside, yep, there you go. Because the chain goes counterclockwise. Yup. I'm good at membering. That's good, because you're gonna need that knowledge is. Okay. We don't really fuck with that guy. That guy gets mowed down. I'm just gonna sit here for a second, let this guy keep getting respect. You're not allowed in, I'm the bouncer. Stay out there. <laughs> How dare you. Alright. Ah, oh, shit. Come stand right next to me. Like, right next to me. There's, like, no in-between for this, so I'm gonna go first when I get the opportunity, and then you're going to put yourself where I am after I'm there, so you can tilt your camera, and you'll see what I'm doing after that. Don't go with me, though. Stay where you are. There's a dude up there shooting magic. Yeah, I'm not really worried about him. I'm gonna let you all uh, handle that, and then I'll come. Oh. Rip. Alright, stay, stay in the cubby, but get your camera tilted so you can see, watch the ball, and the minute it passes you, get out on the track and start holding the circle to sprint. Oh, you're slow, this is not looking good. Alright, you gotta back up and trade with me so you can get through the do door, there you go. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Don't go too far, let me get through. I gotta remember where we are and what's, alright, so there's another trap here, but it comes from the back. Uh, hang on. Yeah, there's an arrow in the thing. Alright, if you're gonna go through, you either need to sprint and then try to jump and roll out, or just start rolling through the whole hall and try to roll to the other side and get out. Oh, it's already down, because I guess I pressed it and it doesn't reset. I remember them resetting, but that's okay. This part's lots of anxiety again. You need to follow me right on my ass, okay? Okay. Don't touch the ball! Even if we're behind it, don't touch the ball.
and through here. How good are you at membering it, after all? Um, I see a pool of blood in front of him, so I'm assuming this is bad. How Somebody good are you membering? How good is you at membering? Need bravery. Hi, uh, yeah. Ew, it's like a big tongue. I didn't realize I got that tall, jeez. Yeah, they're huge. That makes her gross. Did you see the chain, though? Yeah, uh, no, I didn't see the chain. That's what I was trying to get you to look at. Yeah. So this is a double dick-ass fake-out. I'll go first, you can go after, or we can go at the same time, but it goes up, stops at the top for a half second for you to get off, and then it slams into the very top with spikes and will kill you. So you need to get off at the very top, like, right as it stops. Watch the chains. Like, you'll even see it in the chains, but, like, when you're ready, like, get at your own pace if you want. You can do it with me or after, but just be ready to get off. I look down at the floor so I can see, like, what side the door is on when I get to the top. That's the best way. Like, don't try to figure out if it's left or right of you. Look at the floor so your, your camera encompasses the whole elevator. Then you'll know where to roll out. Perfect. Okay, so then we go up here. Be wary of up. Okay. We're not going that way. Wait, are we? Is it this way? It is this way. We go this way now. Okay. Now, let me see. Which is the oh, no that's way a ball. direction? Oh, uh, never mind. Where'd you go? Okay. This I way. saw Come the on. ball like slam. I didn't know if it was coming no, down. No, 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 no. Uh, can I do it? I sure can. Here we go. I'm going to send the ball out to a random direction that doesn't harm or hurt anyone. What a strong man. And... Then we're going to wait. I just want to make sure it goes our way. I don't want to lock this path in the game bug and then hit me. It should just. Oh yeah. Okay. Whoa. On. So now we're going up here, and this is a death trap. So let me just. I had to deal with these and demon souls like the arrows. Yeah, it sucks eggs. You should be okay. I think it stays pressed after I hit it. All right. If you die, it's gonna be here. So this part sucks. You can't stop in between any of these. And this is a very... Briss, you need to like... Alright, look. Come stand with me. I'm gonna help you so much right now. Do a dodge roll. You're too heavy. Take off your sword. Literally take it off from your equipment. And equipment. No, no, no. You need your shield on. Need your shield. You need take your sword okay. off. Like, remove, remove your sword from your inventory, but leave your shield on. And then do a roll for me. Nope, still too heavy. Lose your helmet. This is going to be the difference between life and death here. Now do a roll. You're still heavy. Lose your gauntlets. Man, your equip load must be really low. Uh, it's at, I'm only at 16 out of 58. Alright, do a dodge roll now. Yes, that's a fast roll. So now all of your movement and your sprint speed is like faster because you're at a light equipment load level. So this is how this part works, right? You see the swings back and forth and back and forth. You mm -hmm. need to start with your shield held up, right? Now watch how I do it. If you need to step by step, I'll do it again. But you need to wait for the front one to breeze by. And when it's centered, you start pushing against it. And when you make contact, you start holding the circle button to begin the sprint animation. That way, the minute you're clear, you're already sprinting through, okay? So here I go. Ready? Watch. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Whew, that was close. All right. You can feel free to put your equipment back on. That was the greatest danger for now, so you should be okay for a minute. There is one more above us, but I think you're okay if you made it in that time frame. You seem to understand how the puzzle works. Oh, he did a bite attack. I've never seen that. Ow, shit. Got him. Okay, cool. You all right? Yeah, I'm just looking at my equipment. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. I hear that. I hear that. Uh, 
Um, to have the light roll, what is like the uh, percentage or whatever? Less than seven. Or uh, fuck, I'm actually not sure. In Demon Souls, it was fifty percent. It's probably so, that. It's way lower sure. than that on this. It might be. Uh, it's probably thirty percent. Because with all my stuff on, out of 58, I'm at 20. I hear ya. Okay. I, I, so if you work your way up, it's, I already killed the enemy, that's the biggest threat. It's another one, just like what we did. You, you are gonna have to strip down again. I, I'm sorry, you, you couldn't put your stuff back on yet. That was my mistake. This one's even, even tougher and more strict. I actually had to roll to make it at the very end, because I almost didn't make it, period. This is easily, like, the toughest one of them, but this is the last one. I'm not lying about that. Like, I'm correct. I know exactly where we are now. I got a little mixed up for a moment. So, yeah, you're going that... Uh, you're facing the wrong way. It's the, I can still see you. Uh, you go left or the stairs. right? Okay. Left. Yeah. I already killed the enemy, so there's no bolts. So you can take your time working your way over. This is the thinnest platform, too. So you can hold your shield up, walk at your pace, but you got to do the same dig. You got to push against it and then start sprinting and get across, like, when you get to the axes. Sprint push the first one when it's in the middle, and then hope, hope you make it. <laughs> Trying to, like, align everything. Oh, no, for sure. Take your time. I'm not rushing, man. You're okay. Excellent. Now stop. Don't move. I see a plate on my right. Yes, you do. Get up against the wall if you're going to walk past it. All right, go ahead and walk past. Good shit. All right, go through there. All right, there's a guy, there's a giant that's going to be throwing bombs at us. So, like, are you with me? Yeah, can I put my... All right. or, yeah. yeah, if you want to, I'll go ahead. Away. We have a moment. Okay. No, we have a moment. Go ahead. Okay, I'm good. All right, follow my path precisely and, and sprint when we get to the top of these stairs here. Over to the right. Stop sprinting at the edge and just walk off slow. All right. I'm going to desummon, and then I'm going to run myself up to where you are because there's not a lot of XP to be gotten in this area, so you don't need to summon into my area. Okay? Okay. Am I supposed to not be able to light this? I'm in your world. Uh, true that. You're right. There we go. Light bonfire. Yeah, you good, big homie. You made it in first try. You you first tried Sense Fortress. Be proud of yourself. I've I've given the exact same instructions to multiple people and watched them die over and over at those top axes. I'm just built different, is all. I know you're being silly, but you kinda are. You're adapting to this game really fast. I gotta go backwards and hit the bonfire and get my Estus back because it didn't give me my Estus back when I came back to my own world, so I have zero Estus and half health, and I'm at the base of the castle at the start. <laughs> so uh, most of the people that you play with, is this like the game they start with? Um, not always. Sometimes they start with other titles and they get into them through other means and shit. Okay. I know a lot of people who just start with Dark Souls 3. Because it was like the newer title and they didn't want to play the older ones. I'm just appreciative that you're an open-minded person, so I know that when you play Dark Souls 2, like, you may not love it, but I think you'll appreciate it for what it is. Maybe I'll like it. Guess we'll see. With me as your, like, tour guide explaining everything, you probably will. Okay, first two snakeys are down. Here's the first fucking big bridge with the axes. Walk past this one. It's weird to think it's like daytime here. It's what? It's weird to think that it's like daytime here. Yeah. It's sun, I don't know. Well, it's supposed to be like effect, like an effective like world with the way things look. Like... This is, like, right above that really dark forest we were in when we were, like, looking through, like, Civ shit. But it's not that it's nighttime there. It's meant that it's supposed to be, like, the forest just, like, blocks out the light because of how it is. I 
that could have been fucking detrimental. I'm really glad that's not how it turned out. Large Titanite Shard times two. <gasps> no! Oh my fucking god, I've got a homeward bone. It's okay, it's okay. It's not over, I didn't fuck everything up. Literally everything's okay. Oh my god, that could have been so detrimental. <sighs> to describe what happened, I locked onto an enemy and started to do a jump attack, right? Mm -hmm. But then he got bumped by one of the big boulders and got thrown like 10 feet to his right. And when you're locked on, you are locked on. So my guy tried to follow him as he moved, hit a wall, and jumped off a cliff. Like, my jump attack led me off a cliff because I couldn't make contact. So, like, I honestly, like, almost died, but I landed on a ledge and still had some health left. So I just fucking had to... Do the thingy. I have to start from scratch again, but give me a sec. That was so stupid. I literally was trying so hard to be careful too. Like I saw him, I knew the ball was coming down to roll him over. I was like, I don't want to get caught. I'll wait till he gets up. He started to get up. I did a leap attack and it's just like where he was. It made my guy jump at him from such a bad angle that my guy leapt into the wall. Like didn't even go after the dude. He tried targeting him through the wall is what happened. So once he leapt into the wall, he just slid and fell down. You ever seen... I'm sure you have. Sausage Party? Yeah, very silly movie. I would love to see something like that, but like for video games where they can't control themselves. <laughs> it's just like the thoughts that they're having of... Like moments like that, you know? <laughs> He's gonna get me killed. Oh, I died. It's like Toy Story, but for adults and opposite. That's really bad. That I just died. I was running across one of the thin bridges, and the guy threw lightning at me, and I was blocking, so I stopped its damage, but it made me flinch and stop moving in my place, and the axe swung down and hit me. Mm -hmm. Attempt number three. I'm sorry, Briss. I don't know what you want. I'm bad. Stop making me feel so bad about it, you fucking jerk. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm the one sitting here like, yeah, you gotta be careful. You're gonna get smoked. And then, like, I'm getting smoked. I got a key to cat next to me. I am plenty occupied. Cool. Sorry again. So good. No need to apologize. I need to just focus up and not be rushing through this. Alright, that snake is down. Through here for safety. Up here, there's my souls. I got all I need of my humanities back. down. Do a roll through here so you don't take damage from that arrow. Drink an Estus so that you're at least full health. Okay, I'm not fighting this guy. He can get run over twice. I don't care. Nothing happened. Nobody got hit out here. What the fuck just happened? He's not here? What? Weird. Maybe he only spawns here once. What just happened? Something go wrong? Something went right, I think. That was really weird. I was just, like, running in circles. And then, like, fire blew into my face, but I got an extra assets flask. Oh, uh... I don't know what that's related to, but it's the game just giving you a free Estus. I don't know exactly what causes it, but it happens sometimes. Like, it'll give you an Estus back to your inventory for something. That was scary. Maybe, like, somebody fell off an edge or something. <laughs> Well, uh, yes, but also, like, that doesn't give you Estus Flask getting kills, so... Those are always really funny moments when you're just walking around now out of nowhere, you get souls. <laughs> yeah, I love those moments. Those are very funny. Um, 
Let's see. All right, According man, to uh, IGN, if someone just... strengthens a bonfire, this will be transmitted to people nearby who are using the same bonfire, giving them an extra Estus flask. Oh, yeah? How do you strengthen a bonfire? Um, through Rite of Kindling. Mm. We have to get to a certain boss. He gives us an item called, like, the Rite of Kindling, and then anytime we're at a bonfire, we can strengthen it and then start getting fifth, or, uh, ten flasks from it instead of uh, five. Mm. We aren't that far from that point, to be honest. We've got two more bosses, and then we can literally go get it. Is Sith the main boss, or is that an optional boss? Main boss. You have to get the Ring of Artorias for the uh, Art of the Abyss walking, so you can fight one of the main uh, story bosses in the Abyss. Because otherwise, when you go to the Abyss, you fall infinitely into Void. But, like, if you get the Ring of the Abyss walking, like, you can literally walk on the, the darkness. It's, it's, a, it's a really cool boss fight. You'll see when we get there. So how long do you think until we go back to Sith? Uh, not like in a rush. I'm just getting a time. Uh, not that far, honestly. Like, we could probably do it after, like, these next two bosses. We have we have four different directions we can go after this these next two bosses. Like, this is going to sound strange, but this is how these games work. After these next two bosses, like, we're actually in Dark Souls. Like, this whole part, everything that we've been doing so up to this point, it doesn't feel like it, and I understand, but, like, this is the introduction. Like, this is the quote-unquote tutorial. Like, and I don't mean that, like, I'm a tryhard. All this stuff is easy, but it's, like, they they serve a purpose. Like, this whole part, Sense Fortress, I told you, like, learning hitboxes and how to move your character. Like, there's, there's a point to it all, you know? Yeah, everyone's got a different mechanic that they're really pushing. There's a boss we're going to fight that's optional in the next area that, like, if you choose to fight, she's invisible. Like, you have to watch for her footsteps, otherwise, like, you won't be able to see her. So it's like, it, that boss is, like, uh, optional for obvious reasons, because that's really hard to deal with. But also, like, she teaches you how to, like, this, is, this seems stupid, but she teaches you how to develop a sixth sense for boss attacks. Like, she'll stop moving, you'll see the footsteps stop, and you'll hear, like sounds of an attack whooshing and you'll kind of like learn it like instinctively how to move even when you aren't a hundred percent on what a boss is doing and it like it helps you develop so that you can like not always have your camera locked on a boss and still be able to dodge incoming attacks you know like you can break and look away and then know you're about to get smacked and dodge on point like that's a whole skill to develop and, and priscilla is like for that that's what she exists for All right, I am at the bonfire. I'm putting my sign down. So whenever you're ready, you can resummon me, and we'll go kill this boss. Isn't it um, Dark Souls Two is made by somebody different, like a different president or something? Uh, yes and no. Dark Souls Two is still made by From Software. Yeah. But like any studio, they have multiple teams who do development projects in there. Did you know, like the Armored? I think it's Armored Core, like. I believe armored, the Armored Core games are from software games. Like, those, like, mech games are, like, a game series that their other team developed. But, like, Dark Souls 2 was developed by their quote-unquote B team, while the A team was currently working on the next-gen project, Bloodborne. Oh. So Bloodborne dropped as, like, a PS3 and, like, PS4 exclusive, but, like, Souls wasn't there yet, so it was, like, different. Um... Okay, yeah, sorry. I just forgot where we were for a second. All right, so over here. Drop onto the stairs carefully. Back out here. All right, we're going to repeat our path, but you got to sprint and keep up, okay? So come this way, and when we get to the top of these stairs, we're going to sprint. Just follow. Up here, over here, to this one. Back this way. Let's go beat this big dumb gump's ass. Tower Knights are bussy made. Oh, he clobbered my shit, dog. Okay. Um, 
Are you doing like a... Oh, never mind. Time for some PvP, brah. Just gonna PvP. sit there? Hold on. That should get you a rapier. And then uh, loot. Divine blessing. Rare ring of sacrifice. This a over here. The rings of sacrifice are cool if you know you're going through a hard part that you don't want to get fucked on. Have you read the descriptions? Do you know what they do? Uh, no, I've been following. If you wear a ring of sacrifice and you die, instead of losing your souls and your humanity, you just lose the ring it breaks. Oh. So if you know you're in one of those suicide bomb areas where, like, you gotta run and you're probably not gonna survive, but you're trying to get, like, an item or something, like... Run it, and then let yourself die after you get it, because it won't matter. That took a hard... Fritz, you can't stop. Yes, Brent, Bubba. Come on, over here. Roll. There you go. I didn't reiterate that, but I should have. You can't stop moving here, dude. You gotta keep moving. The item is worth it. Oh, jeez. It hurts. Uh-oh. Oh. Drink. And then as fast as you can, get around that corner. Nope, back away. <laughs> Just as soon as it's gone, get ready to run the corner. We're gonna fix that and stop that here in a minute. Death drop, careful. All right, are you on my ass? Yeah. All right, give it a sec. I want to see if he throws it here first or not. I see his shadow. He's ready to throw. All right, get ready to run. Three, two, one, go. Watch this turn, it's sharp. The danger's real, hurry! I think we're okay. Alright, now let's go give that motherfucker an attitude adjustment real quick. Up here, on the right. Alright, you fucking gump. That's goddamn enough. Bro kicked you in the head. I'm trying, just stay up. If you have to, run away and I'll just do this myself. Alright, he doesn't respawn, so after this, how many S's do you have? Three. Do you think you can handle a boss with three? Uh, sure. Okay. If you die, you'll respawn at that bonfire. We're pretty close anyways, and then uh, it won't matter because we are going to be able to get back. No problem. The guy who throws the bombs is there. This is the Iron Golem. He's honestly not hard, and all of his attacks are very obvious by the way he leans his legs. Just, God forbid, watch the fuck out for his grab attack because, like, the way he throws you and the way the arena is, like, angled, he doesn't even mean to. He means to throw you at the ground. But he'll hypersonic pitch you into a pit because of the angle, and like you'll just miss the platform completely. Okay. He can also fall off of the edge all of his own if you lure his swing attacks, but it's not a guaranteed, so he has a wind attack. Get ready, he's gonna lash one out. Yeah, he did already. What up, Golden Boy? There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> you do die? <laughs> Yeah, I just jumped on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, dude. I underestimated the distance of my jump. That was funny. <laughs> mm. Spicy and sour. Always. Signs right back down at the bonfire, big homie. I gotta use a humanity and stuff. Yeah. Humanity. Don't tell me you're about to get fucked up by the iron golem a bunch. 
He's like, I'm not trying to be a bully, but like, it would be really funny. He's one of the easiest bosses in the game. It would be hilarious if you took on Sense Fortress, easy as fuck first try, but then the Iron Golem beat your ass. The only person that kills me is me. <laughs> How dare you make me bleed my own blood? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't rest, Owen. Stop resting. I'm gonna need some more water. Do you want to do the optional boss in the optional area? Uh, sure. Okay. Free souls. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm gonna blame the alcohol on that last one. Are you drinking, my brother? Hell yeah. A little bit. I wish I was. I'm jealous. Lucky dog. You know what? We'll skip the optional boss for now, but we will still do it. Just because there's not enough time in this play session. Alright, here you are. Let's go. We're still going to have some fun, and you're still going to take on a legendary boss set, but... We'll save Priscilla for, like, after, because if we do that boss set, we get fucking fast travel, which will fix a lot of our fucking groans. I want the item. Yeah, you're welcome, the, too. The item is calling to me. They're bait items meant to make you die, so most of them aren't good. Yeah, well, that's why I stopped writing that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's there. Oh, he's still here. He's back. No, you're looking at the wrong one. That's the one that drops oh. the ball onto the ball projector. The one that throws the cannonballs up top is still dead. Oh. I got really scared for a second because I was kind of far behind. Nah, you're okay, Bubba. Everything okay. We're going to kill us an iron galolum. Who's shooting arrows? What a of dick. Us. Alright, just be careful on your mark. He's not hard, we can handle him for sure, you just gotta be careful. Alright, alright, okay. I, uh... I'll run over here after he does that. Get my stuff. Don't jump off the edge this time. Grab attack. Oh, he got me anyways. That's gonna hurt a lot. At least I'm alive, though. This is one of those that I just don't want to lock on. You're by an edge. You're, care you're close. Just be careful. There we go. Let me just land these hits. He can be staggered for a crit. Just keep missing, stupid. There's this. Oh, I thought that was it. There it is. He's going down. T off. T off. Don't stop. Oh, I'm gonna crit him. Down. Oh, I can't. I can't get the crit. That's okay. Just keep teeing off. He's fucked up. Matter of fact, I'm press triangle to get the two hand out. Let me get the big damage. Careful. Punch my head. That's enough. Go to sleep, you piece of shit. Alright, after this, a white ring's gonna appear in the middle of the ring. Don't interact with it. Stop and don't do that, okay? Okay. Instead, literally just hang out in the boss room for a sec, okay? Okay. 40,000 souls. Oh my god. All right. Let me run my ass up there. All right, can you see where you came from? Yeah. Can you go back inside that door? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, go back inside there. Yep, I am inside. Go into your inventory, get out your white sign soapstone, and then put your sign down for me to grab. I fucked up. I didn't reverse my hobbling. I'm stupid for that one. 
White sign soapstone is down. Alright, hang on a sec. I was a doofus and I forgot to do something, but it's okay, I'll fix it in just a second. What is poise? So, poise is a stat built into your character, and it's literally like toughness personified. Like, imagine you and your friend had wood sticks, and you were beating the shit out of each other with them. The first person to lose is going to be the first person who decides, this hurts too much, I'm backing away. And, like, the person who toughens it out longer is obviously going to be the, wider between, the winner between you and your friend, right? So, like, poise is essentially that, but, like, in stat form. Like, it dictates how much damage you can take from a source before you flinch. The higher your poise, the more likely you are to just tank through an enemy's hits and keep your attacks following through so you damage them and kill them first. Like, getting flinched to death is terrible. So, like, having some poise is really nice when, like, you get into a fight and a dude clips you, but your guy doesn't stop his attack and he follows through. I used to, like, pride myself on high poise in this game because it was really satisfying to fight another player. And then even though they were attacking me, just be like, all right, fucking run the fade then. And then I just hit back and I don't stop hitting them. Most people expect you to stop and flinch, but it's like, oh, God, this guy's not stopping. Cool, I have a ring that boosts it, so... That will help you. I, I used that until I got Havel's ring. Now I have my two main rings for my entire playthrough. I'm set. Hey, there's your sign. When you get to a little bit of a higher level, I'm going to instruct you on where an enemy is, and he's a very tough enemy, but he's only a human-type enemy, like us. Like, he's not a huge, crazy, fancy, insane dragon. He's just, like, a character model enemy, right? And if you can manage to defeat him, he drops something called Havel's Ring, which, like, massively increases your equip load ability. So, like, you'll be able to have, like, light rolls with basically anything on. Like, it's the reason I can wear all this super heavy shit and still be okay. Let's kill this okay. guy up here for some free souls for you. That's you. Alright, he's dead. Much faster since I'm a host and I don't have to get nerfed. Unlimited power! <laughs> All right, I love the picture <laughs> where it's like um, Mace Window blocking the lightning and he's like, he's going to kill me! And Anakin's just like, you're just reflecting your own lightning. Just stop using lightning. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's better. I like seeing damage. Didn't grab shit, stupid. I'm chopping your dick. Oh yeah, he's wobbling. Tee off. Two-handed and tee off. Oh shit! Oh, uh, ah! Uh. What? Uh. How do I win? What do I do? Uh. Oh. This is on your YouTube channel. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> Jake, I'm scared. Oh god, he's back! Oh no! Cause I don't wanna come back ah. in from this clown! <laughs> oh god, I just got kabooked! Bro really went to orbit to avoid us from killing him. I'm fucking mad, what a cheater! I wanna fly 40 feet in the air so people can't hit me. Where's the fucking uh -oh. battle eye? Oh, you're gone. Oh, you're gone. Oh, Goodbye. Oh, 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 that's so close to the edge. Get away to drink if you can. I have to drink Estus. He's actually hurt me quite a bit. I almost just dodged off a cliff because he didn't dodge in the direction I pressed my analog stick. Almost. He's too close to the edge for me, dude. That makes me uncomfortable. I don't want to fall off. He can't decide where to go. Okay, I'm backing up. I got him. Holy tits, Batman. Yeah. Alright, after that, you're going to want to interact with that ring of light that's in the center. 